there are a few ways that you could copy Premium Pro projects. First, if you go to Premium Pro and then click on File, you should see these two options. One is called Save a Copy and the other is Save As. So for example, we have finished our edit on this project and we want to move it to a new location and make a new edit or just use part of this old project in a new folder for a new project. So after saving this project, you need to go to the file and then if you click on save as, you could go to your new location and then I would suggest you to give it a new name. Before I click on save, you should see what changes in here. This is the original project that we opened and now we clicked on save as. So if I click on save, the top directory has changed to the new project that we have just copied from the old project. And if I would delete anything or make any changes to this project, the changes would happen to this directory, which we used as a save as. However, if I would click on file and then click on save a copy, and let's say we would save a copy to the same folder, and by default, it gives it another name called copied file copy. So it adds a copy at the end, so if I click on save, if you look at the top, that's not changed. Now if I make any changes, we are actually changing the original project, not the copied project. But if I go to my copied folder or directory, you could see that copied file. This would be like the project that we have left behind sitting here doing nothing and the original one is the one that we are overriding. So be careful not to mix them up and always check here on what project file you're actually working. So this is half of the story. In this way, we have copied the project file, but the original clips are still in the original folder. So what happens now? If I will close this project, and then if I go to my original project, and now if I will cut it or move it, to another folder and then go back to my copied project and then open any one of them because both of them are actually copies. As you can see here, it has lost all the links of the original clip and that's a big issue. Since I still remember where I've moved original folder and all the files, I can click on locate, find the folder that you have moved to and then click on search it would eventually find it and then I click OK and it will relocate the files. But this is a bit risky because if in six months time you would move the original files again, you might not remember where you have moved them to. Another interesting thing is now that I have this project opened, the copied one, and I go to the folder where I have moved the original folder into and if I would cut it, and move it anywhere else. So I moved it. Now if I go here, it should automatically find the new location because we kept the Premium Pro project open when we were moving the files. I've shown you all this to tell you that it is important to also copy all the files of the project as well as the project into a new folder. Copy is finished. So now, if I would again close this project and now move the original folder to a different location, I move it inside this folder this time. And then if I go to the copied project, since we have copied everything, so let's open the copied project again. It's trying to locate the media and now, if it will still struggle to find, you could click on locate. And now we know that all the files are already present in the copied folder. So we select that folder again to make sure the link is to the copied folder, not to the original folder. And then click on search. It will quickly find out and then click on OK. And now we have linked everything to the new directory. How you can verify that? This is important to verify that the location of original file is also moved. So to verify, right click on any one of them and then click on 
reveal in explorer and as you can see it has revealed the file in the new copied project not in the original project in this way you can make sure that you have successfully copied not just the project but all the necessary files that the project needs to work properly now that you have learned the mechanism of copying a project what you could do is basically select the folder press ctrl c and just paste it anywhere else if you do it in the same directory windows 10 would make a copy of the same folder and add a dash and a copy at the end obviously before copying make sure you save the project as well as you have closed that project and premium pro then you could simply go to the copied folder where you also have your copied premium pro and now if you would just simply open it then the new project would load and it would have all the files if i right click on it and click on reveal in the explorer it might still use the location of the files of the original folder but don't worry now if you move the original folder anywhere else you still got the copied files there so you can link them again the way i've shown you in this video i hope this video was useful if it was please don't forget to watch my other videos on my left and to subscribe to support my channel i hope to see you in my next video bye bye